Hello from um, St. Peter and St. Paul, Catholic Church in Clarkenwell. You know me by now. My name is uh, Ivano. I'm the parish priest. And I will, um, as I've been doing now for a few Sundays, I will proclaim the gospel of today, which is the 12th Sunday in ordinary time. And I will give you somehow the, the means for you to take this gospel as something of God for your own life. I will hope to make this gospel alive in you. From the gospel according to Matthew, Jesus instructed the twelve as follows, Do not be afraid, for everything that is now covered will be uncovered and everything now hidden will be made clear. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the daylight. What you hear in whispers, proclaim from the house tops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Fear him, rather, who can destroy both body and soul in hell. Can you not buy two sparrows for a penny, and yet not one falls to the ground without your father knowing? Why, every hair on your head has been counted, so there is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of men, I will declare myself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. But the one who disowns me in the presence of men, I will disown in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What is, the, what is Christ trying to do? There are these twelve men eh, that he has chosen, the twelve. Eh. This is the church, eh, is us. Now, if you take these twelve men, if you take us, eh, sometimes we look uh, fine, eh. You meet me in the street, maybe. Uh, you look me dressed as a priest, uh, shaved. I try my best. And you think, this, this guy is fine. Or I meet you, and you look very presentable, very proper, very kind. And then, somehow, events come in our life, and these events, they squeeze uh, the sponge. Eh? They squeeze uh, what is in us. And they squeeze it, and what comes out are plenty of fears. We look fine. We look very fine. And yet, sometimes when you squeeze what's in me, if I squeeze what's in you, a lot of fears come. And that is what Christ is trying to do. He knows the twelve. Eh? And he wants to face these fears. The fear of uh, speaking. Eh? The fear of telling the truth. The fear of calling things with their own name. The fear of... Uh, bringing to light things that are hidden inside of us, events, sins, words, the fear of speaking of what is inside of me, the fear of suffering, the fear of physical suffering, we know it, eh? the fear of pain, 
the fear of darkness, the fear of death. And then other fears. When Christ speaks of the sparrow, the sparrow is the animal in the Jewish Bible that is the cheapest. The animal that is the cheap animal, the cheap meat. And the fear that Christ is speaking at the end is the fear that we consider ourselves cheap. Am I lovable? Am I precious in the eyes of my parents? Is my husband really looking at me with love? Am I precious for him? Or am I cheap for him? And in front of God, in front of the church, do I have value? I carry plenty of sins, plenty of problems. Am I valuable? Am I lovable? Am I precious? All these fears. And Christ deals with these fears. But this is important. Eh? Christ does not think that these fears are a problem to be solved. Your fears are not problems to fix. Because if it was so easy, you would have done it by now. These fears, in the eyes of Christ, in the eyes of the Church, they are a disease, a sickness. Only a few days ago, Pope Francis spoke beautifully about this. Our fears are not... Uh, our fears, they are a sickness that may be entered me because of something in the past or an experience or the sin of other people. And we carry these sicknesses. And Christ knows it. And what he does, it's incredible. He's not saying to them, just do not be afraid, be courageous. He's not saying to you or me, you know, don't worry about your physical aspect. Don't be afraid of not being loved. Don't be afraid if your husband does not say nice words to you. He doesn't say that. He does something that is a, a spiritual healing. That is, a, he points out the sicknesses and then he takes the antidote. And the antidote is this word, your father. He takes this word and plants it in every fear you have. And he says, all your hairs are counted. That is, your father knows every event of your life. He knows every situation that you had. Any pain, any problem, any sin is counted, but because he loves you. And then he says, you are worth much more than hundreds of sparrows. That is, your father loves you. You are precious for him. You are loved by him. And when this antidote is injected in your fears, your fears disappear. I know it sounds magical, but it's not magical. It's Christianity. When this man appeared, when this love appeared, the fears are expelled. Christianity is not Christ that says to the Twelve, come on, trying to make of us supermen or superwomen. When he says Christ instructed them, he's not giving commands. He's not making of these people an army. Instructed means literally he passed on to them a word. And the word is passing to you and me this Sunday is your father knowing, your father loving. This is the word. This is the antidote. Let us receive it. Eh? Let us receive it. Your fears are under his feet. And the antidote is his father. And this is what he wants to give you. 
let us receive it and let us be healed by the word your Father. See you next Sunday. Again, thank you.